guys, so you hope you're fine. I really, really hope you're fine. Um, by the time I'm recording this, we are in the middle of the C virus, because I don't know if we can say that in YouTube, but the C virus is quarantine. I hope you're all good and healthy by now. I hope that by the time I upload this video, um, we're back to normal. I really, really, really hope so. I hope that the shortages stop of toilet paper. I don't know how that makes any sense but um in the meantime i am recording my first video in the quarantine like i live in canada and there's no official quarantine yet but most of the things and places and establishments are closed so we'll see how things go in the meantime yes let's record some corpse party um oh no that's not what i meant to do in the last episode, we replay from this file. Yes, in the last episode, we were playing Mayu, and we met with Yoshiki, who then started to tell us how he and Shinosaki got lost, and we did a series of things. Um, a ghost warned us about not looking a ghost in the eye and thankfully we didn't do that so i think there's something to do with this i don't want to touch it yet there's a tv if this room looks familiar uh this is where we found the sensei with his disciple i guess um I, we found their corpses in this closet but i'm gonna go right to left and if you're wondering yes i am not wearing my glasses if you didn't notice, it's a small chest of some sort. What the heck is this? Take it? It's a small, finely detailed accessory case made for tortoise shells. Its design is long outdated, but the quality of it, of its craftsmanship suggests it must be have been very expensive back in its day. Slightly shaking, it produces a loud, distinct rattle. There's definitely something in there. And based on the sound and the light weight of this thing, it's got to be really tiny. Not sure if we'll need whatever it is, but we might as well take it with us, just in case. Nice thinking. Huh? A noise from inside the closet. I don't wanna. Can we? Can we check the television first? I'm not wearing my glasses because they're far from me, and I'm lazy to go get them. I can still see though, barely. <laughs> Turning the dials accomplishes nothing without electricity. It's just a bot. But wasn't the sound of TV static audible from the hall only a few moments ago? Okay. Uh. クラスへ行くか。ないよ。ごめん。僕が<笑><笑> Hold on. Nani? I quickly turned around to find Shinosaki it's excitedly. She's not only mumbling, but she's excitedly mumbling something to herself in a low tone. Her whole body was slanted with her head leaning against the wall, and she was completely focused on one specific section of empty floor. Shinozaki. Shino <laughs> hey, Shinozaki, everything good? Damn. Okay. <laughs> Chill. What do you mean? Should I have not taken this chest or something? No. No. Shinosaki then began repeatedly banging her head against the wall? Stop it. No, no, no. The motion was almost rhythmic, as if in time with the ticks of a clock or a metronome. Hey, cut it out! The hell's wrong with you? 
sorry, did you just smack me? <laughs> always, always. You <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I don't know what I'm laughing. You always do this. What was it you said? Because we're friends? Well, I can take care of myself. What's with that look? Do you just hold on a second? Uh, my throat is burning up. Jesus, a sister poisoned her sister. Oh my god. <gasps> After stumbling around almost drunkly for a few moments, Shinosaki suddenly took off running. She leaped through the trap door and out into the hall. <laughs> what the hell is that all about? Wait. This is no time to be standing around. I've got to find her. She's certainly an interesting specimen. Who? Who? Who's there? <gasps> you. I remember you from the previous game. She, basically, she's the reason why we ended up here because she. Uh, like likes the paranormal and stuff and she was investigating the heavenly host thing and then she posted on her blog the ritual of friendship but she wrote it wrong on purpose so people would go to heavenly host instead of avoiding it if you forgot how to do the ritual basically i don't know if i should say this because you guys shouldn't try it but basically you say um sachiko please i think every time for every person in the room and then you add one for Sachiko herself she didn't mention this last part and that's why our protagonists in this game are also in a quarantine state I'm not certain where she came from nor when or how she got here she a ghost because she dead she very dead she seemed to be about the same age as me she looked mostly normal but her eyes were much less vibrant than they should have been appearing flat and lifeless like those of a dead fish. Her name was Naho Sainoki. And how do we know this? I guess you could say I'm a medium come writer, a uh, chem high school student, or something like that. Or, yes. Anyway, when I was alive. When you were alive? Are you telling me you, you're a ghost? We big brains over here. Uh, regrettably, that's exactly what I am. <clears throat> Are you one of that little bastard's friends then? So we know about Sachiko? The hell do you do to Shinosaki? And why did you trap us here in the front? I mean, I know all of this because I played the previous game, but how do you know? We haven't had any hints that you remember. We know that Shinosaki remembers, we, we know that Maya remembers, we know that Naomi remembers, but do you remember? Oh my. I think there's been a misunderstanding. I, like you, I'm essentially a victim. Though there's a little more to it than that, of course. Oh, so... You were trapped here too, then. And you, um... More importantly right now, the girl who just ran out of here seems to have quite a gift. Oh yeah, Shinosaki! Wait, please. 
私の話を聞いておくのは損にならないと思いますよ。Wait, please. If you wish to have a place at her side for a long time to come, I believe it would be adventurous for you to listen to my advice. At her side for, for a long time to come, you say? I'm interested in this. All right. Can you, can you make it quick? <laughs> Such a firm, cool response is very telling. Well, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm listening. So, what's this about Shinosaki being gifted? She can see dead people. 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 You're familiar with the concepts of his spiritual mediums, shrine maidens, and shamans, no? Yeah, they're all people with the ability to lend their bodies to beings that natural science can quite classify. Beings you would call spirits or gods. They're people who take part in channeling rituals, basically possession, much like the demonic sort you see in movies. So, kind of like the Itako from traditional, traditional folklore, then. Sure, I have no idea what this Itako is. It's happening. You've seen it, no? Your friend can take in the thoughts of the dead that flit about in this accursed house and output them through her own body. This is my other thing with, with corpse party. The description is one thing, like it, it is very well written, but no one thinks or talks like that. It doesn't matter how. Knowledgeable or cultured, you are. We simply don't speak this way, so that's my issue with this game. And note, I said, thoughts. not spirits, they aren't souls, but rather the loose remnants of broken minds, heavenly host. It's a frighteningly unique place. So, if she's indeed able to channel them, take it from me. She has a very powerful gift. Can you really call that a gift? She's not like you, you know. Perhaps not. But if you intend to escape from here, these talents of hers could prove most advan advantageous, provided, of course, she learns to control them. Control them? <laughs> Well, you saw what happened. She wasn't in control at all, but rather being controlled by the thoughts of another. Think of it as if she had an enormous antenna on her head with impeccable reception, 24 hours a day. It said that antenna was missing not only any means of changing frequency, but any sort of on off switch as well. At this rate, she's bound to short quit and break down. Or worse still, she might lose her sense of self and essentially become a mindless radio. Are you. Saying, There's no way to get her back. I don't know. Who's to say? That all depends on her and you. Well, then, come with me and help me save her, please. I'm sorry. I can't do that. You see, I'm. Also trying to find someone who's important to me. 
Sensei? I've done all I can for you. Whether this experience ends well or gets worse, again, depends entirely on you both. I wish you the best of luck. Another one? This was the big one. I literally couldn't stand up. I fell to my knees on the floor. I couldn't even tell you how long it lasted. It felt like it would never end, but eventually, little by little, it did subside. That would have been a great chance for a scare jump. F for a jump scare. Whoa. I stood back up and surveyed my surroundings, but as expected, the ghost of the girl was nowhere to be seen anymore. And this particular quake felt like it shook the very foundation of the entire building. Shinosaki was all I had in my mind. She was in serious danger. I just don't know what the hell is going on anymore. But if there's one thing I do know, it's that I have to be there for her. No matter what. Oh. Oh, we didn't check the thing in the middle. Great. Shinosaki! Oh, wait, isn't this when we meet Mayu? Oh, dang. Wait, what? You know what really pisses me off, though? That she kept talking to me as if I were totally ignorant about physic phenomena, like a complete dimwit. Look at what happened to her. <laughs> To give to for her own good, if you ask me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, sounds like you and Shinosaki have had a pretty rough time in here, too. Well, you seem to have done pretty well for being by yourself. Shin and Morishige have been with you, though? True. Yeah. But he's not. I've been trying to find him. Oh, well, uh... Considering how cool and collected he is, I'm sure he's fine, wherever he is, taking pictures of dead people. I mean, if he sees a ghost, he'll probably just follow his bro and be all like... <laughs> you remind me of a Shakespeare sonnet or something, you know? And since you and I run into, it, into one another already, I know you'll find him sooner or later. Wait, are you gonna... Are you gonna leave us alone? So, yeah, so you're probably right. So I'm sure I'll come across him eventually. Though... Though, I guess there are a lot more places to look now that the hallway's back in one piece again but there are two of us and two pairs of eyes are better than one yoshik please do not tell me that you're gonna split up with me there we go that's more like the susumoto we all know and love <laughs> Okay then. Let's give this everything we've got and find our friends. You bet. I know you're somewhere nearby. And that's enough to keep me going. I'll find you, I swear. But... Oh no. Before we set off, I call a bathroom break. Oh no. Seriously? Sorry. I've been so scared and nervous since we got here. I guess it's taking its toll on my stomach. I get this way before a production sometimes, too. Jesus. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. Guess we'll keep an eye out for a restroom on our way then. Ah. 
There's a gap in the floor here. A board has been laid across it as a makeshift bridge, but it's a bit unstable after the quake. Best to cross with care. The stairwell is completely packed with desks, whatever. Fortunately, the last earthquake seems to have knocked many of them loose. With two people working in tandem, it shouldn't take very long to, clean, to clear a path. What do we do with all these desks, Kishinuma? We could just climb over them with a little effort. But they might all come crashing down if we make one wrong move. Yeah, let's move them out of the way. Okay. Are we gonna have like a mini desk moving mini game? Okay, I know where we are. Yay! We found the little girl's room. If you'll excuse me for a minute, then. Oh no, this is. No. Sure, I'll wait nearby. If nothing happens, just call out. Don't, uh. Wait too close. Though, okay? It'd be kind of embarrassing if you, you know, hurt me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should probably say if I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say if I have a really bad feeling about this. Safe. I'm gonna save in this one because I haven't really done anything, just a bunch of dialogue. Ah. Oh. Guess my stomach must be my stomach must be in pretty bad shape. <laughs> I am not saying that. Okay, I thought for a second we were gonna hear her pee. Okay, um glad that's out of your system. <laughs> I'm so glad there was a usable toilet in here. But can you wash your hands though? That's the big question. You should, especially with the virus going around. Alright. Good to go. Uh -huh. What's this? Did I hit my stomach? And something? It's all red. Wait, 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 wait. I see blood. Wait, what? I remember that at the beginning of the episode she had glass in her stomach, but why? We haven't... What? When did this happen? And how? Even if I had hit my stomach on something, who ever heard of someone's belly getting bruised? I took a closer look and found myself mom momentarily breathless. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. What in the world happened to me? The reddish purple bruise was like fault lines emanating out in four directions, with my belly button serving as the epicenter. It almost looked like a weirdly colored spider web attached to my skin. What's wrong? No, 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 no. Hey, oh, I'll be out in a second. This is bad news. Wait. Why did the opening just flash in our screen? Sorry to keep you waiting. I feel much better now. What? I'm trying to remember. Was Mayu with Yoshiki and Shinosaki when she died in the first game? I think so. I think so. Oh. I'm glad to hear it. But didn't I tell you to keep your distance? What? Uh, it did, you were just kind of loud there for a second. You seem startled. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry to have worried you. So, um, how about you? Are you good on the bathroom situation or do you need to go too? Well, um,. The boys' room is kind of. 
The boys' room is kind of occupied. When you open the stall, the stall door, because there's only one, there's this guy's voice that yells out, Shut the goddamn door! Oh, I can see how that might make it tough to go. Well, let's just put that out of our minds for now and focus on finding Shinosaki, okay? In this kind of situation, it doesn't matter which bathroom you go to. Like, you could have perfectly gone to the girl's bathroom instead, but okay. Oh. Sounds good. So we're not... Why am I not saying anything to him about the bruises on my stomach? So because I'd be too embarrassed to show it to the boy? No, that's not it. I was gonna say, we're not gonna address the bruise situation, like the stomach situation. My mind was racing, with worst case scenarios popping into my head one after another. I kept hoping this was all in my imagination, all nothing but a nightmare. But it sure felt real. And that was the scariest thing of all. Maybe I was sick. Maybe I needed to go to the hospital. I couldn't stand all this uncertainty. But I didn't say anything about it. I just walked with Kishinuma out through the school building in search of Shinosaki. I thought maybe if I went with him, I might run into Shig along the knee along the way. Or at least find some clues as to as to his whereabouts, but no such luck. Okay. Our search eventually led us back down to if oh <laughs> to the first floor. <laughs> Having covered all uh, all our other bases, we set our sights on the pool, but just as we approached the locker room. I have a bad feeling. Are we gonna talk? Okay. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah. It came from in there. In where? Wait, what? Whoa, whoa. Who are you and when? What what happened to you? Like your legs? A girl who looked to be around middle school age had been laid flat on the floor. Both her arms were bound, and her eyes and mouth were covered with sash-like strips of cloth. She was obviously being held against her will. She was kicking both legs and right writhing all around, frantically trying to break loose from her bindings, but it didn't seem likely that she would succeed. Oh god, we have to save her! It was only after saying this that I noticed the bruises on her legs. <gasps> Those weird markings look an awful lot like the ones on my stomach! Or am I just paranoid? Regardless of what caused them, or how they might relate to my own injuries, this girl had markings like burns clearly visible on her slender thighs. My camera is dying, I should hurry. They were peculiar bruises that looked almost like letters, as if they signified something that was just beyond our ability to decipher. Oh, so we have something similar in the stomach, that's why that circle appeared in, like, flashed. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Hey! Are you just a Sumoto? Oh, uh, sorry. Hang in there. I'm going to loosen those bindings right now. Wait, stop. Take a closer look. This isn't going to be easy. Kishinuma grabbed my arm to hold me back. I was a bit confused, but did as he suggested. And it didn't take me long to see the problem. The strips of clothes holding this girl to the floor seemed to be rolls of gauze. And whoever bound her like this really did a number. The gauze was stretched absolutely all across the room's furnishings. Several strands of it were then projected upward to the top of the nearest cubby shelf where they were wrapped around the neck of a plaster bust. And from there, they extended up to the ceiling where they wrapped tightly around the handle of a bucket suspended in the air. Jesus! 
suspended right above the girl. In other words, if we pulled on any bandages the wrong way or moved any desks, the plaster bust might fall and if that happened, the bucket would spill right onto her. I mean, I'm guessing the bucket has like a pretty bad thing in it, on it, inside it. I wonder what the hell is in there. Maybe it's nothing. But, but what if it's not? Okay, we have to help her somehow. Help. Yeah, if, if I've learned something from the Madu part of this game is that you need to help whoever you find. The girl was thrashing wildly, unable to move or see and too scared to call out. Sadly, this wasn't helping at all. It only served to pull the plaster busts closer and closer to the edge of the shelf. It was impossible to say whether or not she had any inkling of the, of the thread that loomed literally right above her head. It seemed increasingly likely that this was the intent behind the trap. If the victim attempted to escape, she would only wind up killing herself. How heavy is this bucket? What, what do we do? What can we do? Don't panic. We just need to find some way of getting that bucket down from the ceiling. Mm. Can you reach though? I think we should try and remove the bandages on her face first and try to calm her down. I don't think reaching for the bucket is a good idea. Either way, there's no time to lose. We have to do something and we have to do it now. Remove the bandages, try to reach the bucket. Uh, remove the bandages. Y yeah. She kicks kicking like that. They'll think this'll heal her before we know it. Alright then, sit tight. We'll get those bandages off. She should have heard every word Kishino was saying, but she didn't seem to be calming down in the slightest. With all the layers of bandages crisscrossed over her ears, maybe she couldn't understand us. Unable to see, unable to hear, and too frightened to scream. I think I'd scream too if I were in her position. Damn it! This is really wrapped up tight! Okay, I think I got it. Can you see me? She's not calming down at all. Calm down! You need to stop thrashing around like that! I'm so scared! Just get me out of here! Save me! Nari! Hikari! Chihaya! Someone! Anyone! <gasps> Crap! That doesn't sound good, OG! You need to stay calm, look at me! Did Maya slap the girl? Try not to panic. Take slow, deep breaths. There. There you go. That's good. Everything's going to be alright. We're working on sending you free right now. Okay. Gradually, the girl began to calm down. I gently stroked her cheek where I just slapped it. <laughs> Tears were welling in both our eyes. I closed mine and nodded my head. Good girl. You just need to hang in there a little longer. We'll, we'll have you out really soon. As long as you hold still, there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay. I'm okay now. I'll be right here at your side. Just try to keep positive. Kishinoma, would you mind? Would you mind pushing the statue a little so it doesn't fall off the shelf? Oh, yeah, I'm on it. This is really wrapped tight, but there. I think that should do it. Okay. 
I've noted. Do not trust any buckets in corpse party. This seems to be like the good choice. Are you alright? Can you stand? Huh? Uh, no. Not, not really. Minis are shaking too much. Well, then how about just sitting up for a bit? Give those knees time to recover. I put my arms around her, and only then did I realize that sh what she meant. She was shaking from head to toe more violently than I'd ever felt before. She must have been frightened out of her mind. Um, um, I mean, we still don't know what was in the bucket, so I don't understand why she was so afraid, but okay. Hmm? What was that? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so very much. That must have been really, really scary for you, but it's okay now. I never seen Susumoto act so adult. Guess it's her maternal instincts kicking in. Women are amazing. Even with her constantly depending on Morishige, I could totally see her turning to someone like Miss Yui when she gets older. Um, sure. Thank you both, both so much for what you've done. You saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you're all right. Never expected someone to tell me I saved their life. And mean it literally, that's for sure. My name is Nana Ogasawara. I'm a seventh grader at Musashigawa Girls Junior High School. I just. I remember myself being in seventh grade. That feels a long, long time ago. I was, what, 13? 14? No. 14? About to turn 15? Something like that. I'm Maya Susumoto. It's nice to meet you. And this delinquent looking. Oh, dang. Delinquent looking fellow is Yashiki Kishinuma. Oh, come on. What kind of an introduction is that? I think you've been hanging out with Morishige too much. <laughs> Hard to believe you're a 7th grader though. I have my reasons to think the same way. I just want to read what he's gonna say. That means you're one year below Satoshi's sister, yet you're so much taller than you seem. So, with it. Wait, Yuka is an 8th grader? No. There is no way Yuka is an 8th grader. That means she's like 15, 16. No, there's no way. <laughs> Yuka's a child. Yuka is at most like a 5th grader. A 4th grader. A 5th grader. Jesus. Yeah, buddy. I guess Yuka must be in this school somewhere too, huh? I hope she didn't get herself separated from Machida. Oh, she did. She did. I remember in the first Corpse Party game that I played, we got the, the we got the bad ending. I was gonna say quote unquote bad ending, but no, we got the bad ending because Naomi was killed and then Yuka uh, was left in Heavenly Host and then Satoshi came back and then he could still hear Yuka or something and then in Blood Covered we saved her I think yeah I think so I think we saved her um, that's gonna be my, my, my goal in this game too to save Yuka because Jesus Christ she's, she's gonna have one of the worst deaths I've seen I've seen I think um, Kishinuma and Susumoto, are you two searching for your friends as well? Yeah. Five friends from class. One homering TA and one classmate's little sister. 
We're not sure exactly what's going on in here, but going on in here just yet. But I guess they're trying to find us too. It's e v e r y b o d y Shige. What is Shige having the time of his life? I see. I've been separated from my friends as well and wound up. Wound up the way you found me while I was looking for them. I think we've seen this girl before in, corp, in, in, in Blood Covered. But I don't, I think she was part of the extra chapters, but I don't remember what happened to her. Like, of course she dies, but I, I don't know why she would be a protagonist of some sorts in this game. Let's see, let's find that out. <laughs> yeah, what the hell kind of psycho did that to you anyway? I really don't know. I was just wandering around trying to find Nari and the others when someone reached out from behind and covered my eyes. Whoever it was was incredibly strong. I really couldn't fight back. If I had to guess, I'd say it was probably a really big man. And we know that there's a killer on the loose. A really big man, huh? Any idea, Suzumoto? Mm -hmm. I mean, I just. I know this is impossible, but hear me out. What if. Since we saved this girl, she dies? Instead of Mayu. It doesn't make sense because Sachiko, Sachiko said that if you died already in Heavenly Host, your fate is to die no matter what. But hmm, what if? What if? The only living people I've met here so far are Ikishinuma and this girl. Guess there's more to worry about in here than just lost souls and that ghost brat. Oh no, she's gonna panic and run away. Nana suddenly planted both arms firmly at her sides, shrunk into herself, and began shaking again. She was probably thinking about what had happened to her. I don't think we need to talk about that right now, Kishinoma. What? No? Oh. Sorry. I think I'm going to take our new friend to the pool for a moment. Will you wait here, please? Yes. Because that is, that is such a good idea, Mayu. To take a, a, a girl, maybe you want her to breathe fresh air. I get it, but that fresh air has this stench of. Decaying or decomposed corpses. So, I, I don't. Okay, whatever. What? Let's go. It's raining outside, so there's clean water. You know. What are you gonna do? Take a bath? Hi. <laughs> No, wait just a minute. It's dangerous out there. I'll go gather some rainwater and bring him back for you. Wait right here. You're going to wait for us to come back. Understood? If anything happens, we'll call for you. I promise. I don't think you'll even get the chance to call out for him. Ugh. All right, already. Just be careful, okay? I, 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 I don't understand how Mayu thinks this is a good idea. Oh, the corpses are gone. Sorry about that. Kishinuma means well. He's just a little dense. Oh, it's all right. I'm sorry to, to be such a bother. Oh, it's no bother. 
If something as scary as that had happened to me, I would have done the same. But we're alone out here. So feel free to wash up as much as you need to. I look the other way, if you like. She's not gonna get in the pool, is she? Like, I don't. Why would you? Uh, yes, please. If you would. Okay, okay. I, I, I understand why you would be so embarrassed. It is a stranger. Mayu is a stranger. I get it. But this kind of a scenario, if I were Nana and someone else was with me, I would be like, do not take your eyes off me. I don't give a damn. If something happens to me, you have to see so you can save me. So, this is such a bad idea. I don't know what you would think this is a good idea. I walked over to the wall where the roofs overhang offer some protection from the rain and waited for Nana to finish up. Also, it's not a good idea that you get wet and then you can't dry yourself and then you're cold and wet. Taking this time to look around, I noted that the whole building was surrounded by dense forest. Theoretically, we could climb the fence here and leave, but we'd just be trading a creepy dark school for creepy dark woods. Could we survive out there? And would we actually be able to get home? Nah. I mean, if I were in that situation, I don't think I'd try it either. I just wanted to find she and he. He'd be able to look at this situation coolly and rationally without flipping out and getting all, all emotional like me. I just need to find him to see his face. She and he. I was starting to get teary-eyed again when I noticed Nana lazily running toward me. As she near, she's slow to walk. It's cold. Of course it is. Your body heat will dry off. Will dry you off in no time, and we can spray on a little perfume. So why? Why would that matter? We we're both completely soaked from head to toe. Weren't you sitting on the roof or standing on the roof? But I was confident we'd dry off quickly enough once we get back inside the school building. And since I happen to have some travel fragrance in my pouch, I took it out and spritzed a little on and around Anna's skirt. Oh, is that what you meant? Oh, I think I know this scent. It's roses, sunlit yellow, right? Bingo! It's my current favorite fragrance. I like it a lot too. My allowance is pretty small though, so I'm using a cheaper one right now. Well, once we make it out of here, I'll gladly, uh, I'll gladly share mine with you. Either one of you is going to make it out and the other won't, or you both won't make it out. Mm. Really? That's so kind of you. I'll make sure to wear some at our next drama club performance. Oh, it'll be my first time on stage, so I'm sure I'll need it. You're in drama club? Wow! I'm actually in our high school's drama club myself. You are? I'll bet you're an actress. Well, I do act, but I also write scripts and make costumes. We don't have a lot of members, but I don't mind. I love everything about stage drama. That's amazing! You can do all that? Nana, oh, you don't mind if I call you by your first name, do you? Of course not! Hi, Wait, I'm learning Japanese and I know Mochiron is of course. No. Oh, I'm, I'm confusing him with Kochirakoso. Kochirakoso is likewise. Mochiron, of course not, I guess. 
You're welcome to call me Mayu too. Anyway, you really have an amazing figure. I love it if you let me make some clothes for you sometime. Oh, wow! Would you? Though, there are probably much slimer girls out there that your talents would be better suited to. No. Nobody shaming in this channel. Like my old friend Nari. She's practically a jewel. She's so pretty. And my friend Chihaya is super cute, like a princess. Well, let's just find those friends of yours. And I'll go back home together. Kishinoma and I will be glad to help you in your search, if you help us in ours. Sure thing, Mayu. <laughs> Come on. Let's head back in before we both catch calls. Oh, and Nana? I noticed you have some bruises on your thigh. Did something happen? Huh? What? I didn't even know they were there. Maybe I got them when I was captured? I was pretty hysterical, so I don't have a very clear memory of everything that happened. Okay. Sorry to ask such an awkward question. All done. About time. You're out there for way too long. I was starting to get really worried. Well, a woman's beauty takes time to mold. Anyway, while we're out searching for Shigeni and the others, you mind if we also keep watch for Nana's friends? Of course I don't mind. Let's find everybody who doesn't belong here and get the hell out. You two ready to go? You bet. Okay. Um, I've been recording for what, 40 something minutes? Should I end this episode here or not? I'm gonna record for a little bit longer. Um, oh, can we go here? Let's try going to 4A. Because before it was um there was a hole in one of the hallways so we couldn't go up there. I don't get it. When Shinosaki and I came in here before, this room was different. Good time to save. I see I I see you, dead corpse. I see you. Dead corpse. Of course you're dead if you're a corpse. Look at me, I'm such a big brain right now. Okay. So, there's something blue here. I think I saw something blue. This. There's something all over every one of these shelves. It's like someone emptied our out buckets full of small black beans. On closer inspection, they seem to be dead flies. Hundreds upon hundreds of them. Okay. Nothing on the board. Nothing here. It looks like someone used a shard of glass or something to carve a message into the teacher's podium. To any and all Takine middle, high sc mi middle school students, I'm okay. I'm going to go find Kyubo. If you're reading the... Oh no. Oh no, is this you? It's the partially decomposed corpse of a student. Judging by size and uniform, this was likely a male middle school student. The back of his head seems to be completely smashed in, suggesting he was probably killed from behind with a blunt weapon. Oh no! A student ID name tag can be seen partially lodged under one of his bony arms. Takine Municipal High School, Teru Arai. Oh, I feel bad for you, dude. What is this? Are you certain you're on the right path? 
Is it really okay to trust her? Are you talking about Nana? Oh no. Um. Okay. Where Where should we go to next? Hey guys, if you're watching this little piece of footage, it means that when I was editing the uh episode number nine of Corpse Party Book of Shadows. I realized that it would have been too long to just keep everything into one video and I decided to divide it into two or three parts depending on how long these parts are. So I just wanted to record this little segment in case I decide to divide the parts because again, I didn't say bye until the very, very end of the episode. So that's a wrap for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope I get to see you guys soon. Bye!